got a little hungry. Here it is, our real French baguette. Got on a ship to from Calais, which is in the far background, way back there. So this is basically a ferry for cars but they also accommodate a little bit of foot traffic this was just these this is the only foot traffic passengers that we had but the price is pretty good something like 40 or 50 dollars but they let they let the vehicles off first as you can see down there so here we go they've given the signal to get off Yes, I must say, this place does look quite British. How could it be so red? Paint. So we're gonna go right up this old street here, around the corner, and see if we can find some beer, something good to eat. So here's our first stop on the itinerary, White, the White Horse. So there's my first bitters at 4%. Pale amber color. Very, very smooth beginning, not much acidity. I saw her pump it with like a manual water pump. Maybe it's coming out of a keg below. It's almost room temperature. It's not, it's the least cold beer I've had served in Europe so far. Earthy, floral, woodsy. Very interesting. All the walls and the ceiling are covered with autographs and notes and cozy so British this is so small and it just the architecture of, of this town is so so here we've got a cellar beer green so this is the uh, the little underground bar again just Lots of decorations, really cozy. This is the one I'm going to try next. It's pouring a lot like a Guinness. And on this very low ceiling are different denominations. This one said... Chocolate, coffee, nice bitterness on the back end. It's kind of like a Guinness, but a little bit more mid mid palate woodsy hops and they talk about fruity esters if you search for it there is sort of an apple apple pear fruit in there i told these folks here they're real friendly we're all palling around it uh, my name is william humphrey and i'm my ancestry dna shows that i'm about 90 percent british i've come home to kent when tasting beer in Europe, you have to be careful about the microbrewery movement because Europe looked at what's happening in America and they started doing it themselves. Everybody started a microbrewery. So when you go to a bar, you got to be very careful to look for the classic styles because they're doing just the same as what America's doing. They're in reinventing everything and experimenting. Fish and chips with mashed peas. There ain't no good Well, Dover is a really small town, but really, really warm and embracing. Here's the Dover Castle. 